Hello, this is Randall, the Michigan Tropical Gardener, and I am doing an update on my banana plants. Okay, right here, this is my red banana. And what has happened is that this is a pup. Uh, twice now, the banana plant has gotten maybe about this tall, so maybe a foot tall, maybe a little taller than that, and it would start and it would grow a pup, and then the, the parent plant would die. So we have here the remains of the original plant, and then this was the first pup. And for some reason, they've been dying. Uh, why? I can only guess that they're not getting enough, I don't know, light maybe, um, possibly fertilizer. You know, they need to be fertilized more. I've watered them pretty well. So uh, the problem is that indoors, it's indoors. It's not getting the same light no matter how many lights you put out. It's not the same as being outside. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to replicate these plants being out in nature as you know to the extent that you can and so what's happened is that uh, they aren't producing fruit and they're dying and the same thing happened with my musa double maoi dwarf banana now this is the pup this is what's left of the parent plant. And it was mm, two feet tall, maybe, Meh. if that. And then once again, the natural cycle for a banana is that the banana grows up to be seven feet, six feet, seven feet tall. Then it produces the fluorescence, which is, uh, I believe that's what it's called, that's the it uh, comes up from the middle of the, the stalk and comes out and produces the flowers which become the fruit. And so it never reached that point and instead it produced a pup, which is this one here. And then before it got to be anywhere near fruiting size, it died. And this one has, uh, is producing a pup as well. So what I plan on doing is cutting out the rest of this stump here on both this one and the red banana. And then what I will do is at some point in time when the pup gets larger, I will try to separate it from this plant and then put it into uh, a separate pot. And uh, if I can do that and get these bananas to produce more pups, then I, I stand a better chance of actually getting one to produce because I can put them outside. I'm a little reluctant to put these outside just because of the elements and everything else. Uh, so anyway, that is my update. And hope you have better luck. Well, I don't believe in luck, but hope you have better success in your banana plants than I've had with mine. Um, any comments or suggestions or questions, let me know and um, I'll do my best to try to answer them with what experience I've had. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. And goodbye.